panic welled up inside me as my thoughts shifted to Oma. Why hadn't I been to Wagtail in five years? I could have gone without Ben. Had I really been that busy? Too busy for the grandmother who meant the world to me? Ben and I had seen her on vacation in Florida with my dad and his wife only a few months ago. Her eyes had sparkled when she told me she had a surprise for me. I'd pressed her for a hint, but she had reveled in her little secret. Dad cringed with embarrassment when Oma said something about us meeting her handsome young Scandinavian stud. It never occurred to me that she might be ill. It would be just like her to be sick or even dying and not tell anyone. The dog startled me by jumping forward into the passenger seat. She eyed me warily. We're on our way to Sugar Maple Inn, I explained. Here's the deal. They don't allow dogs, undoubtedly because you make messes. She listened, but didn't seem particularly ashamed of herself or what she'd done to Ben's car. Oma had a German shepherd when I was a kid and spent my summers at the inn. She used to go everywhere with me. The summer my parents divorced, I told her all my secrets and troubles. Staying with Oma during school vacations was always the highlight of my year. I peered at the dog. Are you housebroken? I had a feeling I would find out soon. I can try to talk Oma into adopting you, but don't get your hopes up. I don't even know if Oma is well enough to care for a dog. She curled into a little ball for the final hour of the trip, but every time I looked over at her, she jumped into a sitting position as though prepared to flee to the back seat. I won't toss you out into the cold night, sweetie. I promise. Thanks to the drizzle and heavy fog, the last leg of the drive, winding up Wagtail Mountain, was treacherous at best. I flicked my lights between the high beam and the low beam, but nothing cut through the white soup more than a few yards. My eyelids were growing heavy in spite of the coffee. I rolled down the window in hopes that the cool night air might refresh me, gripped the steering wheel tighter, and leaned forward in the vain notion that it might help me see better. The dog sat up and barked at a pitch that sliced through my days like a knife through butter. She barked wildly, pausing only to paw at my arm. Why are you barking? Hush! Someone needs to learn about using an indoor voice. She persisted, and I had to hold her back with my right arm, not at all what I wanted to do on the winding mountain road. I glanced over at her for a split second wondering how to make her stop barking, and when I looked back at the road, a man stood in the middle of it.